वेलकम बैक गैस ना लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज कुसुमल साइन ओके सी नॉर्मली जुगुलर वेनस प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज ड्यूरिंग इंस्पिरेशन सी जुगुलर वेनस प्रेशर्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ए वेव सी वेव एक्स वेव वाई वेव वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दैट नो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज द जुगुलर वेनस प्रेशर्स आर गोइंग टू डिक्रीज विथ इंस्पिरेशन वाई इफ यू आस्क मी during inspiration what happens the thoracic cavity is going to expand now when the thoracic cavity is expanding the negative pressure which generates inside the thoracic cavity it will suck the blood into the heart okay now during inspiration the thoracic cavity size expands creating the negative pressure sucking the blood from the internal jugular veins into the superior vena cava and from there into the right atrium so internal jugular venous pressure decreases why because blood is moving from the superior vena cava into the heart so this is what happens so you can clearly see here typically the jugular venous pressures are going to decrease with inspiration as negative intrathoracic pressure suck in the blood from the vena cava when there is lack of decrease okay for example with inspiration the jugular venous pressure is not decreasing but increasing if the jugular venous pressure increases or remains the same normally what should happen jugular venous pressure should have to decrease if there is no change in the pressure or if there is increase in the jugular venous pressure then it is called as kusumal sign so kusumal sign is lack of decrease or an increase in the jugular venous pressure with inspiration this finding is called as kusumal sign Okay, we are not discussing here about the Kusumal breathing. Kusumal breathing is something which is seen with the diabetic ketoacidosis. Okay, that's a breathing pattern. Kusumal's breathing is different. Right now, what I what I am discussing here is a Kusumal sign. Okay, so Kusumal sign reflects what? Kusumal sign reflects the conditions where there is right ventricular dysfunction. If there is any right ventricular dysfunction during those conditions, with inspiration, jugular venous pressure is not going to go down. Rather, sometimes it's going to increase. So. impaired right ventricular filling and increase right atrial pressure see if right atrial pressure increases automatically jugular venous pressure increases now let's see what are the conditions in which the kusumal sign is going to be seen with constrictive pericarditis whenever there is a constrictive pericarditis in those condition there will be kusumal sign constrictive pericarditis means you can clearly see here this is the pericardium and the pericardium is getting calcified when the pericardium is getting calcified heart cannot relax okay heart cannot relax and like you know heart is now totally totally it's going to be uh, going going to be surrounded by a axial calcification pericardium is calcified it's actually compressing the heart from outside so heart is not able to relax properly okay when the heart is not relaxing properly what happens now heart is getting squeezed from all the sides so the pressure in the right atria increases as well as the pressure in the jugular veins increases okay constrictive pericarditis and restrictive cardiomyopathy same thing restrictive cardiomyopathy means now there is a deposition of abnormal material in the wall of the heart so that heart cannot relax properly okay so when the heart is not relaxing properly what happens the atrial pressure increases as well as the jugular venous pressure increases and massive pulmonary embolism okay whenever there is a massive pulmonary embolism back pressures are going to be generated back pressures are going to generate into the right ventricle and the right ventricular pressure translate into the right atrial pressures and right atrial pressure increases as well as the jugular venous pressure increases and right ventricular infarction whenever there is any problem with the right ventricle okay right ventricular infarction so right ventricle cannot contract properly if right ventricle is not contracting properly pressures generate inside the right ventricle lot of blood is accumulating over there more pressure will be there in the right ventricle those pressures are going to generate back into the right atria right atrial pressure increases when right atrial pressure increases automatically jugular venous pressure increases okay so these are the conditions in which you will see the kusumal sign simple what exactly is kusumal sign kusumal sign is increase in the jugular venous pressures during inspiration okay lack of decrease or increase in the jugular venous pressures during inspiration is called as a kusumal sign important points kusumal sign is going to be seen with the two main main two important conditions which is the constrictive pericarditis as well as the restrictive cardiomyopathy that's it okay guys this is all about the kusumal sign hope the video is helpful thank you